Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I've also done some tweaking with my video uh, settings, so let me know if there's a difference, or you can tell the difference in the audio, uh, audio quality. Video quality. Audio quality should be... I, well, I didn't mess with it. But let me know if, you, if this looks better or worse, or anyway. If you're my little F3 fighter, uh, I don't think I've done much of anything to it since since you saw it last. But I did build without you, and I do not apologize, because I have this ugly, ugly little shuttle. And this, again, I said the same challenge I set myself for the fighter. It's a 15 by 15 by 15 And I know it's ugly, it's not really intended to be a pretty thing, just a little, little shuttle. So let's go inside. Look at all the cool features I added. Oh, it has a standard USD, little thrust. Uh, a gravity block and a ram. So I have a uh, Plex door ramp there. Inside I have uh, some storage, a little medical here, uh, two seating areas for people being shuttled, and I have some windows. Oh, the back window. And in the cockpit I have um, the cockpit things. Uh, these are lights. Those are the front lights, and that, I believe, is, I think that's a light. I think that these are the, if I may have got my, uh, my thing backwards, and I'm not in the ship. There we go. Oh, that's the beacon. The beacon and the running lights. That's what these should be tied to. Yeah, I'm thinking the one on the right was the beacon. Those are the headlights. Okay. And it's just a little jump ship. Oh, I also have uh, reactor consumption and speed and name and all that good stuff. It has, uh, let's see, a reactor. 95% used. It has a jump drive with auto charge, power efficiency, and distance. Everything at max. And it is a level 1 reactor. 17 blocks. And that's enough to uh, charge a jump. I can't charge a jump and... Oh, it takes 102% to charge a jump and thrust at the same time. Of course, I am not designing this for efficiency or all that. It's a shuttle. I mean... It's either going to be jumping or moving, and you should probably charge each jump while it's while it's um, stationary or loading or whatever. Uh, so I'm not charging. I'm not this. This shuttle was not designed for deep space travel or anything like that. It was um, mostly in uh, in between ships, in between a ship and a planet. A oh, basic shuttle. So either you're going to be jumping or using the thruster, probably using the thruster. It has a tiny shield, if I recall. Uh, shields. Uh, yeah, it's 180 recharge with uh, 7,400 capacity. So it's a tiny shield for a kind of a clunky, almost looks like a skull. I might call this a skull shuttle. Oh, and it has a bottom docker, just in case. And, since we're talking about our docking, uh, let's see, what did I call it? Uh, I think I called it... HTES. My space station. HTES space station. I built, and this turned into a template, but I built a... A hangar. Oh, it already has a shuttle in it. Okay. Come on, open up. There you go. And I'm in gravity. Awesome. Let's see. We're going to slash jump. I love that command. All right. Now, that's the force field control button. You can't, and you still can't see force field through um, 
transparent blocks. Oh, you can. Oh, you couldn't the other day. Huh. So you can turn on and off the horse field. And it's it's just a hanger. Like, I'm going to close this door. Nothing real special to it. It's just that it's designed perfectly to fit either this shuttle or the... Or the, um, fighter. And I have a little access door down there. Wait a minute, did that not? Okay, yeah, it did. And the logic here tells whether or not a ship's attached. And it turns on these lights here, so when something's docked, it's green. When it's not, it's yellow, and closes this door. So if I were to dock back on there, uh, it would open up that the rear hatch, or the uh, hangar hatch. There we go. I open my door, and this door is... Now, uh, because prove it, I have two doors. One for the hangar and one for the, um... Ship. There we go. My brain is not working quite right. Yeah, we could have told you that a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, that's basically all this is. Oh, and it also tells you the force field's on and off. You force field off, hit the button, force field on. That's just a real simple flip-flop. Uh, not... That button goes to the flip-flop and it switches on and off. And the flip-flop are not controlled by these buttons, and these buttons control the... Um, that thing. Display block. And, let's see, and that is, and uh, this flip-flop is tied to the force fields, which you can't see. See, purple lines. All right, so I've been busy. I built just this hanger here, and again, I'm going to use this as a template. It fits in with my 5x5x5, five by five by five, and that's what all the uh, structure here is for. So it fits in nicely there. And just attachment points for hallways and empty spaces I can jam, I don't know, systems or maybe walkways or something in here eventually. Um, don't know. Should I probably curve that out? One, two, three, four. If I took this wall out, I could put a uh, another room or system in here. You can see the hangar. Anyway, I've left myself options here with a little buffer space. That's not all I've been up to. Let me show off the other thing I did. I built a larger ship. Da, 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 where is it? Cutter. Captain load. Oh, we'll have it the same faction. I did put a faction block on it, didn't I? No, oh, it needs a faction block. Okay, no, not F9. F8. F1, F8. Hop in. Let's just take a look at it first. It is a nice, big, ugly, square ship with some designs on it. That isn't really meant to symbolize anything. It's just what struck my fancy when I when I drew it. Let's see, and it's just a real simple ship. No turrets. It has a huge engine with these little pipe things coming to it. And I'm not sure what this is, but it's here. The underside's a little plain, but you know, this is a little cutter. It's not really uh, intent to be super duper wonder ship. And a USD on the port side. Alright, so let's hop out, and here's the here's the um, bridge. Oh, I don't have any data in these. I'm going to have to come back and add data information to... Or is there? No. It's not a uh, finished thing. It's, I think all my ships are work in progress. Wow, it is much darker in here than I remembered. So let's hop out of creative and let's use a flashlight. don't think that helps much. That didn't help at all. Huh. Is it just a glare on my screen? It might be a glare on my screen. There we go. My monitor is tilted. Funny, it's still dark. Huh. Oh, look! When I turn my flashlight on, 
all the uh, the split blocks turn off. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. They're still animated. They're just turned off. Huh. Anywho, since my flashlight's apparently useless right now, uh, we have six bunks, and they're just my standard bunks. Again, no data on those. They, they need to come back and update that. Six bunks, a restroom, just again, one of my standard 5x5 five five restrooms. Uh, those have warning lights in there, but it's not actually hooked up to an alert system of any sort. Again, another bunk, and this should be the last bunk. I believe there are five chairs. Yeah, there are five chairs in here. One for each of these four stations and one for the pilot. And... E, B, C, D, E. Well, there are only five. Five bunks, if this goes to E. Why was I thinking six? Because of the restroom. The restroom isn't a bunk. Okay. I'll get there eventually, don't worry. You know what? Why my flashlight wasn't working the way I thought it should? Because I've had this highlighted. Yes, that's why my screen looks funny. I had this selected. I wish you wouldn't do that in the ship you're in. I don't actually have cataracts. Okay. But the display blocks, or, yeah, the decorative blocks still turn off. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, it's just a real simple ship. Here is a um, air filter thingy. Here is my my standard airlock. Uh, Forest dock. I wonder why that didn't. Huh. I hit the button, I have rails that control it, and it opens and closes the door with a pretend decompression cycle. And just a little living area back here. Got a um, little medical area, kitchenette and table. And this is the cargo. It's not a large cargo, it's with 4.6k. I could go through and... Um, enlarge the cargo. But the idea for this is it's, a, it's just a little cutter. It's supposed to be a fast ship, not a heavily armed ship. Uh, speed is its most important value. It has thrust of... It has 2.5 mass th uh, thrust ratio. Uh, consumes 4,560 energy to turn the thrusters on. And the lower deck here, or below the main deck, is where I've jammed stabilizers and shields and all the um, chambers. In fact, let's take a look at the chambers. Actually, as I look at it, it's the exact same as the shuttle, just bigger. So, in essence, that's what I'm using it as, is a bigger shuttle. And it has some hefty cannons here. Let's see. 5%. I'm thinking I would like a a scout ship for scanners. And... There we go. And it has enough to punch through the ship... Uh, the uh, shields of a shuttle. Can it punch through a fighter? Can't punch through with the first shot, but... After a while, probably take on a... On a uh, fighter. There we go. Reactor health. That's another something. I don't think I ever forgot reactor health to work quite right for me, but that might be I just to misunderstand how it's working. Oh no, no, there we go. It hit negative 20. Okay. Yeah, theoretically, this cutter could take out a fighter. The, the fighter might be a. Well. They're probably going to be same. Well, they are the similar speeds. And it's be similar top speeds. This one's going to have lower maneuverability than the fighter. Huh. Anyway, so it's just a little cutter. It's a, a larger than a fighter. A little better, well, a lot better armed. Or armored. And basically, it's a big shuttle. A big armed shuttle. Um, cutters are usually used for. Uh, patrol boats, things like that. So this might be a system patrol boat. It has a small crew. It could be a recon vessel. Things of that nature. 
Let me turn on my scanner and let's take a look at, yeah. Probably, I'll need a dedicated recon vessel for, uh, for, um, something with a better scanner, I think. Anywho, that's just been what I've been up to this weekend. And who knows what we'll get up to in the future. I don't really have a plan for tomorrow. Alright, I've been GW608. This has been StarMade of the Geekats. Later. <laughs>